Hello everyone, my name is Prakpal. As you know that each and every time I bring a new video for you. In this video, I am going to deal with the different civil engineering drawings. So, here you have, you can see the different drawings. Line sketch, plan, section and elevation, site plan and service plan. This is what a process from starting the line plan to the service plan. It is what starting to ending process. Okay. So, with respect to this process, I am going to deal with like i am going to explain you how the building deal with these drawings line sketch is nothing but the drawing which is required before the construction to get a particular idea regarding the what you need to construct okay plan section and elevation are these the three important parameters of the building drawing where you can simply get the idea and you can execute the particular plan okay which you need to properly uh, may properly execute on a site section and elevation are important for the building because you get to know what is the thickness what is the width okay what is the height all these things you can get from the section and elevation only site plan is very important because site plan is very helpful for the labor and the uh, site uh, who is uh, executing the wor work on a site and service plan okay so all these things are required which is defined as a uh, engineering uh, civil engineering construction drawings these are the main civil engineering construction drawings okay so first of all i am going to deal with the line sketch you can see over here where is a uh, uh, here you can see one uh, drawing which is a, one of the line sketch we can made by only our pen simple pen on one uh, set of papers the first sketch is drawn line sketch what exactly it represents the sketch okay you can see it is a drawing okay it is what you can say the that drawing uh dining hall okay it is what kitchen over here i just write over a kitchen okay then uh playroom okay living room washroom staircases entry closet okay all these things just background idea like uh, only imagination on a paper okay that represent a line sketch line represent representation of the building it is what you are exactly seeing the line representation of a simple building free hand drawing yes definitely line drawing is nothing but called as a free hand drawing then drawing draw on a presence in of client that is one of the most important parameter of the line sketch okay why this is most important because during the sketching in front of client or in presence of the client Client can suggest no instead of that I want this at this particular place. So if client wanted to change anything, okay, so they can we can just take the idea from that like what they exactly want. If they exactly tell me yes I want kitchen in this direction, no 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 not right now I wanted to take in this direction. These things happen with the client each and every time because the construction of a home every client is very sensitive about the, all these things okay so definitely all these uh, client are uh, doing the different changes in the plan so line sketch is one of the most important parameter to deal with all these things now we are going to deal with the plan section and elevation as you can see in this picture okay here is a one plan okay this is the ground floor plan you can see over here ground floor plan okay this is what a elevation this is section and this is the first floor plan as you can see in the elevation what you are real what you are getting the idea this building is having the ground floor and first floor so that is what exactly the important of the elevation with the help of the elevation you can simply justify what how many floors in the building building is having okay what is the elevation from the outer side okay like architect view we can say okay the outer elevation how the building can be uh, is looking from outer side all these things come under the elevation next thing is like plan planning is nothing but where is a room uh, where is a bedroom where is a kitchen where is a proper way of the ventilation to the uh, this all our environment where, what is a particular place for a like exact uh, best position for a kitchen best position for a study room okay you know that the most of the people most of the student prefer the study room at that point where the noise is very low okay so like the we we need to place that your place the study room kitchen in such a place where it needed okay as per the requirement as per the client requirement and not only the client requirement then along with the natural environmental condition we need to clarify we need to place this at a proper uh, position 
okay so now this is what a plan you are seeing over here in the plan you can see the darkest line is representing the wall okay internal and external wall here the window is uh, attached okay here's d1 d2 you can see i can i can zoom okay let me check uh, no i cannot zoom okay no problem you can see over here these are the doors which is represented by in a circle in d2 okay this is what the ventilation over here okay it is what drawing w2 is represented over here this is the main door okay this is another door for toilet okay this door for the uh, work area this is door for a store okay remember one thing like in my home also what i did i make one store room specially because if you are if there is extra space or you can manage the storeroom in a particular plan it will be beneficial for you and client also because what happened the people who are very sophisticated like or the people uh, who are who wanted to their home must be clean and neat so for them a storeroom is must required if the storeroom is there then most probably the people make their home mega uh, they, they maintain their home very uh, good and cleanness a storeroom is help a lot for a home because if you wanted to store anything the place over there you can store simply over there there are different type of the storerooms also i'll be taking in the next video but uh, in this video i am wanted to introduce you the what are the different drawings required drawings in the civil engineering okay so in this video as you are seeing this is a plan which is a ground floor plan and here is a first floor plan okay so what is the difference between the both the plan you can see in the elevation this portion okay i am talking about this portion this portion this portion okay this portion this portion there is a no more construction above that okay so with respect to this you can see if i correlate all these things here so you can see there is a open terrace open terrace open terrace open terrace so it is like represented in a such a way okay so you must you you need you need to know what are the representation for the open terrace okay so here is a no any no further construction so that's why it is represented but here at this place why they did not represent like uh, but because what exactly the construction this is a plan of this this uh, this way uh, this uh, this floor okay here is a this one is a open terrace this one is a open terrace okay here is some play some pay um, some space okay you can see over here this is the sitting hall space so here they just take the open terrace to him so like this the representation of the plan over here okay now also you can see what is the important of the elevation with the help of the elevation a particular civil engineer or architecture can simply imagine what the or a client can simply imagine how is going the, that the building home or building looking like uh, this like here we can see the building is looking like this okay so these are what a elevation so we want a proper elevation if client wants if if we show the client like a, today we know the autocad revit there is a different uh, 3d softwares available with respect to that we can simply create the such a elevation which are very artistic to in a view okay if you show them so they definitely get happy and they may be given the contract to you so all these things are happening so plan elevation is very important thing in a building construction okay now after that we are going to the section what is the important of the section in planning you are just getting the dimension of the room okay and the plan what is the dimension of the room that's it not more than that you are not getting in a plan okay in elevation you are just getting the elevation from the outer side like how your home going to look like okay after that you need some vertical dimension so we can define is like this the plan which is defining the horizontal direction only but the uh, section is defining the horizontal dimension okay like vertical uh, sorry vertical dimension so in section you can see here is what the section of xx so section is represented by this way you can see there is one line it is a section x and this is up to this way okay so in this section what you are going to see the line which is cutting this plan that only you are going to see in this uh, section xx how now the main thing is that how to take the section section you need to mark only that point where the maximum amount of the portion of a building come in a consideration okay so that is one of the main motive of the section so you are getting like yes this much amount of the maximum work like door staircase kitchen wall lobby and everything if you are getting in a one single line so it will be very helpful for the the person who are executing the work 
okay so now you can see over here the this arrow what this arrow representing this arrow representing the portion that that is what is the section is taken from this side this direction only okay so this whatever you are going to see over here this is a representation of the section from only this direction okay not this direction you are seeing only this direction so you are standing over here right he is a person civil engineer oh sorry i am not good in drawing like not that much drawing i am good in civil engineering drawing but not in this drawing okay so civil engineer looking in this direction so he is getting a view like this okay so that is what exactly means section in section what you are going to see you can see the dimension vertical dimension like what is the footing dimension what is the bottom dimension okay what is the dimension for the chajja to the slab okay then uh, what are the staircase dimension door dimension everything you are going to see in this here in this uh, section you can also see there is a rubble masonry okay uh, rcc wall with uh, brick wall okay the brick construction where is the rcc construction reinforced cement concrete construction where is the wooden construction all this things like a detail construct detail view of the uh, execution of the work is we can see in a section so it is all about the section plan section and elevation but remember before concept before construction of the plan section and elevation you must know what are the changes because if the uh, these things are neglecting but what happened there is a lots of mistake happen mistake there are lots of problem happen because if the client certainly tell no instead of instead of work area i want work area over here and porch over here so definitely there is a change in a section and elevation too so these things make create a problem so before construction any plan section and elevation you must take the client um, full uh, confirmation regarding yes this plan they want okay only we only after that you must further proceed for the plan section and elevation then what is a site plan site plan is a top view we can also say it is a bird eye view of a property that is drawn to the scale yeah it is a site plan is a top view there is a one site you can see imagine there is it is a one site okay so the top view why it is called as a bird eye because you are seeing at the top at the very top height so that that's why it is called as a bird eye so site plan is a top view basically it is called as a top view you can see over here okay top view okay so which is view of the property that is drawn to a scale which is like this top view if your area is having 2000 square feet okay so with respect to that construction you are going to scale the drawing so you can execute over there so that is what important of the site plan what the site plan show basically site plan show the property line what does it mean property line what is your limitation of your land okay if you are in the any particular area like we can say over here it is a 1500 okay my drawing is very bad okay 1500 square feet oh my god zero is very low okay no problem just try to get in touch okay so here it is what your plan but with respect to plan what is your property line you cannot further go beyond that property line that is what exactly they are shown in the site plan okay like uh, we can say it is what area so you can construct in this area only up to this much area you can construct like this okay so you can you can construct only this much area that's it okay we can call as a built up area only okay this is total area what i first draw it is total area okay but this area is called as a built up area okay now the property line what exactly i am telling you then outline of the existing and proposed building of the structure what is the outline which is this one outline okay distance between buildings what are the distance between building it is very important because what happen exactly in site plan where the distance between building is very important because of the ventilation problem and different problem the distance between building you need to keep in proper way after that distance between building and the property line that is called as a setback then parking lot indicating parking spaces all these things come under the site planning landscape area is uh, then ground side location utilities all these things like a uh, uh, water water we need to take a water from that uh, pipe all these things are come in the uh, site plan okay so site plan is a top view okay you are seeing from the top and whatever the thing built up area utility everything like spacing from the main uh, property line to your uh, first boundary of your home um, home all these things come under the site plan so site plan is indirectly guiding you what are the limitation of your home 
okay so with because what happened basically most of the people they don't follow the site plan they construct in if it is a plan is 1500 square feet square feet so they construct total 1500 square feet area okay so their built up area is getting 1500 but instead of that the government who sanction the built up area very less but they they construct in a very total area after that what happened then maybe after some year there may be some what some more construction of the government so there is a uh, elaboration of the road or something uh, elaborate okay so increase of that road can tends to the remove the cutting of their home okay so all these things happen okay so be only because of that you need you need to follow the site plan after that you can see over here there is one example of the site plan where you can see it is what the proposed structure okay but in the proposed structure this is what the area what i tell you that 1500 um, square feet is area but the built up area is this much okay so this is what the area where you need where you can only build rest of the thing are it is a entrance for your home okay this is what the filtration tank rain water storage tank precolation privity this is a private road okay private road this is what the distance you need to just keep from the this your this is what your property line this is what your property line okay from this property line you need to just take the distance like this 6.21 6.02 7.31 4.18 like this distance you need to keep from your property line this is a well over here okay so pit over here all these things like side plan it is one and with respect to the scale okay with respect to scale it is a top view what we are seeing from the top okay and with respect to this only you are going to construct your home then and only then there is a no problem for your home from the governments okay all these things you need to clarify if you are not a civil engineer but you need to know about the site plan then it's very important for you because the government not going to harm your home because there is a any extension of this road okay if happen in the future then there must be no any uh, harmful damage to your home okay so this is what this is what i am one of the example of the site plan then we go for the plan section and elevation again okay here you can see the planning okay plan and uh, top much top plan okay this is what the section so i just draw over here then you can see this is what the section i draw over here so with respect to that particular red line you can see the section view over here okay section view is nothing but uh, the dimension uh, vertical dimension you can see the exact all the value of your building dimension okay then uh, hatches represent what this hatches what uh, you are seeing over here like in in this drawing you are seeing this hatches over here right here so that hatches sorry that hatching this hatching representing the reinforced cement concrete okay now after that the different hatching this one hatching is represent that it is in bottom over here which is representing the plain cement concrete okay this hatching is representing the brick masonry okay this is what a brick masonry over here you can see that is what represent this hatching is representing the earth fill what how much earth fill did over here this is what this is what the earth fill okay then after that this is what the elevation what you are seeing from the background uh, from the outer row okay this is what the colorful image okay now principle of building drawing so guys i am going to take this uh, principle of building drawing in the next video okay so let me tell you one thing like uh, if you are good in a planning okay then then focus on your all the rules and regulation because what happen if you are a civil engineer if you are making a plan for any client then you must need to take some some guidelines some uh, some restrictions to the plan as per the site plan what i what i told you okay so that thing you need to keep in your mind because if you are constructing the site plan it must be with the, all the rules and regulations okay then and only then client not get, getting any sort of the problem in the future okay so and you need to take the care of that whatever plan you um, you prepared that plan need to be um, uh, executed on site as it is okay because what happened the most of the people most of the worker they are they are not following their your plan they are just exceeding the limit of the buildings and all exceeding the limit of the wall and all okay so that's thing happen most probably so you need to keep keep the all view on the all these things so thank you and if you don't uh, visit my website please visit uh, there you can simply saw lots of spreadsheet yesterday i just placed one web, one spreadsheet where based on a uh, for the plaster work of 12 mm so you can uh, go over there you can visit okay and keep watching keep learning and have a nice day bye bye thank you